going on YouTube? Um, I was fishing to get out here and cut some limbs up that blew in my yard. Luckily, thank the Lord, we didn't have any big trees or anything blow down in our yard. We just had some limbs that uh, blew over from up here uh, from either these trees in our front yard or across the road. Uh, so I just got to get out here and cut these. Up. I figured that would be a perfect time to do a review on this saw I got. <clears throat> this is a Echo 355T, CS355T. The uh, if you can see the bottom there, it's 355T, and it's also on the bottom. Oh, there's a sticker there. So anyway, it's made in Japan, which you know, it's Echo. Um, <clears throat> it's got a 14-inch bar. You can get it, I think, um, 12, 14, or 16 inch. I figured 16 would be a little big for this saw, um, but 14, I feel like 14 is, is perfect. It's uh, 14 inch. Yeah, 14 inch uh, 050 3 8 low profile. It's a 3 8 low profile chain. And um, so, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to get out here and cut these limbs up with it. I figured it'd be a good time to do just a, uh, eat, uh, just a simple demo. I was going to go over some of it first, tell you where I thought about it, and then just do a little demo. It comes with this also, uh, obviously, a bar cover, and then a little tool so you can um, adjust your chain or whatever. Uh, Alright, so like I said, Echo CF355T. I wanted, I've been doing for the last couple of years some work on our farm. We got a small farm, uh, some trees and stuff growing up in the fence and some privet hedges, which I can't stand and stuff. So I've been working on uh, clearing all that. And I've come pretty good ways to where now I pretty much just got to keep it sprayed uh, so I don't have to uh, worry about cutting so much. But I wanted something <coughs> light that I could cut with all day. That right there is a steel, 038 steel. That's my dad saw. He's had it since the 90s. I'm pretty sure that's the same bar and all that's been on it. The only thing that's been changed is the chain on it. Uh, and I think he put a new uh, muffler on it one time. That's it. And it still runs fine. Every now and then on the first startup, and it's older, you got to pour a little bit of gas in the air filter. But once you get it crunk and going, it's good to go. Um, but it's heavy. So if you're cutting big trees, you know, down trees that are, you know, just vertical cuts, you know, that's that's the way to go there, you know. But for stuff like horizontal cuts, cutting limbs, uh, smaller trees out of the tree line, just stuff like that, uh, I wanted something lighter, <coughs> excuse me, lighter, where I could cut all day without my arms getting tired, because that one's pretty heavy when you're, you're cutting any other way but vertical. Um, so I was looking into a top handle saw, because they're, they're light. Um, you know, and I mean, they cut pretty good. Uh, tree surgeons and stuff use them. I didn't want to buy like a professional, like super professional grade um, saw, like a tree surgeon would use, because those things are expensive. And I'm no, I'm not a tree surgeon, so I don't need one of those. I don't have the money to spend on it. Um, but I wanted something that wasn't just a piece of crap. And I love Echo because I got a weed eater. That's pretty much the only, I've ran a few weed eaters, but Echo is almost the only weed eater brand I've ever used other than one or two others when I was, you know, younger. It's my dad's that I ran. Um, <coughs> so anyway, on the weed eaters, man, they last forever too. They're really good. I, I, I would, I mean, unless something goes, like Echo just goes way down here, I'll probably never use a different weed eater brand. I mean, they're, they're awesome. And uh, they last forever. So, um, anyway, so I, I was looking into the Echo saws. I like steel. I mean, you know, I'm steel, you know, American made, whatever. But um, I just, I also didn't want to pay the price for one. Um, so, I was looking at the Echoes. I saw they had some top panel saws. I said, okay, I wanted the a top panel that was light, but had the most power I could get in a top panel saw. So, I got to looking around the Echo. <coughs> they got a few different uh versions of top handles this was the biggest or the strongest engine i looked up like what the horsepower and all that would be compared to some other brands and stuff i think this and i love echo so i figured okay i'm gonna go with echo i just figure out which model uh to go with um so i looked at i think i had one other maybe might have been bigger than this is this is i think i got this ordered from home depot i checked out my local uh hardware store their echo and a steel dealer 
but and he had a top panel but he didn't have this particular one he had one a little smaller and uh i didn't really want um to go with it i wanted this one i'm pretty sure i can't remember if i had one size bigger than this or not anyway i saw this one on the website on the echo website and i figured okay this is the one i want to go with because it's light and it's pretty stout i mean 16 inch bar it, it'll cut i mean correction 14 inch bar it'll cut through anything the size the length of this blade but stuff that's 14 inches and under all that wax right through it and this chain i need to sharpen this chain i've ran it a few times with it since i've sharpened it last and but i'm only cutting limbs and there's a few pieces that's uh i mean pretty good size so it'll get uh, give you a pretty good idea how this thing cuts i also got some back here in the back if i need to cut some of those that are bigger but um so like i said this chain is not uh, you know super sharp by any means and it so i'll just show you how it cuts even with a, a moderately sharp chain uh, i have a chain sharpener <coughs> that i'm going to i'll do a video on i've been wanting to do a video on it anyway it's really good it's all in one chain sharpener so i'm gonna do that use the saw to demo that one day and show you how that how it works but uh for now if it's going to just go over some of the, the stuff on the saw and then get out here and show you how it cuts so anyway right here on the top side you got i don't know if the shade's kind of messing with it but anyway right here this is for your gas and uh this one is for your bar oil so i mean that's pretty simple on the top you know take it out it's even got grooves in there to put your screwdriver in if it's a little tight for your hands um this it's just got torque in these areas here it's just got torque head uh screws or bolts whatever i guess they technically be like bolts but anyway you pull this off and get to your your uh, pull cable stuff um obviously you know for your chain break this side i like this a lot compared to like the steel you know you loosen your two <coughs> nuts here so you can adjust your chain and your chain adjustment screw is right here on the side i mean easy to get to on that uh excuse me this um steel it's down there at the bottom like i love steel but the chain adjustment screw it's right down there in the front and when you cut for a while and the oil gets in the sawdust and all that stuff it covers it up you gotta scrape it off and all that it's not as easy to get to this is really this one's really easy to get to so i really like that and it works it works good um the muffler has a screen <clears throat> all the like new echo weed eaters and saws and all have a screen it's like to keep i guess spark or rest or whatever but i take that out that's what i did i pulled this off i took that cover off the uh muffler pulled the screen out i did that to my weed eater too because one time i had a weed eater you know it started running kind of bad i was like what's going on with this you know i couldn't find out it was just the screen was getting clogged up uh under there so i took that because it's a really small screen so i took that out of this too ahead of time so i wasn't having any trouble i have had no trouble in cut for a couple of years with this like every off day i had off work there for like a year straight <coughs> i was cutting limbs and trees and stuff with this but um so that's good just loosen them up just that that's perfect the teeth on here are metal they bolt on or whatever so it's plastic on the front side of the saw here but um it's got metal dogs so that's good <clears throat> um your choke is right here so you flip and it's almost like cranking a weed eater dude i'm telling you this this thing is is so easy so easy to crank especially when it's warm you pull it one time and you crank you don't even need a choke but anyway flip the choke forward just use the um I can't remember what this is called. It's like on the weed the plunger, purge. Anyway, I can push the primer in a few times just to get the gas up there and then flip your choke on, pull it, you know, three times or whatever, and it cracks right up. After that, you pull it one time, don't even need any of that choke or anything. Um, starts really easy. It's got some other features. I'm just going over the basics, the main parts that anybody actually cares about. So right here, you know, you just pull this. This is the air filter. Take a screwdriver. Turn that, pops it off. You know, it's got, it says lock, unlock. Uh, you just turn it, pop it off. There's your air filter and you can clean it. Right here, it's got different grips um, for your hands. If you got smaller hands, you got a bigger one you can put on here. If you got super large hands, like I have pretty big hands, and this is just the medium one that came on it. You could take this off if you had super big hands, you know, like Paul Bunyan or something, I mean. 
but uh that one I just it's, it works it works fine for my hand so I just left it alone you know it, it's fine um <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much all the main features to it there's really not much more to say about it you know I'll give you a little demo um I just wanted to do a review because you know sometimes if you're looking at something you just want to buy one time and you don't want to have to buy again send it back try something else whatever sometimes I'll buy some stuff just to try it that nobody's tried but um you want to buy something that works you want it to work you don't want to have to worry about sending it back and get another one or anything I mean you know you, you look at the reviews so I figured I'd do a review just throw in like hey the more reviews good reviews got more likely are to buy it so I said hey you know get this is a good saw put my put my two cents in so maybe to help somebody decide uh what they want to buy and uh it's good I, i'd recommend it to anybody that wants a light saw they just cut stuff with all day up to you know 14 inches all day long i'm gonna do a cold start on it so you can see how, how it cranks up it ain't been running in a while i'm sure but i'm sure it'll crank right back up and then i'll cut some of these limbs i gotta cut this one is high, stuck on top of a big limb up, limb up there and I got some other limbs over here to cut up. I'll probably just video cutting some of this up. And then when I get those bigger pieces down, um, so, you know, cutting those up. But anyway, so let's see. Choke it. Prime it. Once it starts to crank up like that, like tries to crank, you can turn the choke off. So to stop it, I forgot to mention, you just pull it back and then there you go. Uh, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, it's also got this, so you can hook it on to a lanyard if you're uh, climbing a tree. I mean, you could use this even professionally, you know, if you're a tree surgeon, but um, I don't, but, but it works great. Like I'm gonna get the rest of this cut out. I just wanted to give you a quick demo on some stuff like that. Probably, that's probably half the, with this ball, you know, seven or eight inches. Um, it'll cut stuff up to 14 inches, no problem though. And this is a moderately sharp uh, chain. It's not even super sharp. If you got a new chain or you just freshly sharpen this chain, uh, I mean, it'll whip right through there even faster. I just didn't sharpen it because I knew I only had to do some limbs, so I wasn't really worried about it. It's still fairly, fairly sharp. Um, but yeah, if you're climbing, like tops of trees, if you climb a tree, you can cut the top out of it, you know, It'll work good for that, and it's got the, the little tether there for a lanyard, so it just folds in like that. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got one of these saws and you really like it, um, let me know. Uh, leave me a comment. But um, I got this from Home Depot. You can get them, you know, all, all kinds of places. But, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just thought I'd give you all my two cents on what I thought about this saw. Maybe it helped somebody decide on a what kind of saw they want if y'all need one like this you can even cut one handed i don't usually recommend cutting one handed but you can hold something to cut one handed i do it all the time so just you know watch out for it jumping back hope y'all like this video uh see y'all on the next one